Welcome to another edition of Backport Cigar Reviews. Today we're doing the Grand Habano Blue and Green. We got this cigar from Natasha from Grand Habana. She gives a couple of cigar review. We're gonna do this one this morning. Dan, this looks like a good early morning cigar. What information do you have on this? It's a Grand Habano Blue and Green. It's a Connecticut wrapper, Nicaraguan binder and filler. It's a six by 54 cigar. They refer to it as a Grand Robusto. It's medium body, and it'll run you about $9.50. Get this really nice cedar wrapper, gold band at the foot. Good looking cigar. Looks like it's a triple cap, double cap. Almost no, it actually looks like a triple cap. Yeah, triple cap. Yeah. It's a beautiful uh, wrapper. Well, the sweet, uh, great draw, and a musty little barnyard hay, mm -hmm. definitely hay smell to it. Sweetness, definitely a, a hay flavor to it, and getting a little bit of cream in the first initial light up. It's definitely creamy, and it's got a distinct sweetness to it. Right, let's settle in, and we'll uh, get into the first third of the Grand Habano Blue and Green. Back to the uh, first third of this. Uh, I like to apologize to our over followers out there. We've been a little bit behind on the videos. Uh, I just got my knee replaced, which put me out of commission for a while. Big Dan last year got his hip replaced. There are two old crippled guys here. Yep. But uh, we're going to try to get a lot more videos out. And like I said, we appreciate Natasha sending these cigars. But so far in the first third, I mean, the, the burn is perfect, the draw is perfect. I'm getting a uh, dry hay, creaminess, and the short finish, I get a sweetness of a lemon. Citrus zest of a lemon. Definitely. Very, very tasty. I'm, uh, I described it a little more grassy, but there's definitely that, that transition into a citrus, lemon, grapefruit, lime, it's a very, very pleasant, mild to medium to me. Uh, both the uh, the power of it and the flavor. Very it's nice. really nice. I did on some of my research, did find a nice uh, flavor wheel from Cigar Vida, which is from the uh, famous smoke shops. Yeah, that's uh, one of the best ones uh, I've probably, seen. Probably, yeah. I mean, more advanced Probably ones, the best. But, uh, it's uh, really nice. So great job on that guys for using this to find our flavors. But like I say so far man, it's uh, for a morning cigar, it's perfect. We're in the second third. That citrus zestiness has remained. The grassiness has died down a little bit. It's still there, but way in the background. And it's leaving this really pleasant aftertaste, citrusy that I've can't say I've experienced it in a long time, but it's it's almost delicious. And the burn is great. Uh, the draw is still gr unbelievable. It's just a really pleasant cigar. Yeah, I'm getting the uh, change over more of a bread taste to it. Still getting a little bit of the the dry hay. So breadiness, cream and still getting that citrus short finish on the back of the tongue. Uh, I'm gonna disagree with the saying it's almost delicious, it is delicious. Yeah. Great morning cigar, I mean, I'm, like the construction that I've shown before, but the ashes is absolutely Yeah, the ash is amazing. incredible. It's still on there. And the Long burn way. is pretty, very, very good. I and mean, you knocked off your ash, and yeah. it never touched up, and uh, it's coming right back to it. Dan was a big help with my uh, 
Wednesdays after therapy, we went to the local cigar lounge and had a cigar for therapy. That's, it was excellent. I had a laugh because we had a buddy of ours, of ours, shout out to Frankie, I hate Mises to Pieces from <laughs> uh, Austin, Texas. He called up, he was on the phone and uh, said, Frank, who's, who's with you? John, what do you guys do? Well, I just got done therapy, they think you need cigar therapy. Yeah, therapy part two. Yeah, that's part. All right, we'll let this finish up, get into the final third, and uh, give her a score on it. Well, the final third looked like a cedar creeped in to me. Slight white pepper on the retrohale, and the, the lemon zest is still there and has been there throughout the cigar. Yep, I agree. It's been there uh, all the time. Smoke output, fairly good. It's not a uh, chewy, thick smoke, but it's a great smoke output. Um, it's tough for Connecticut's because they don't have the flavor of, you know, Maduro's and your darker leaf cigars. But as um, as a Connecticut goes, I would rate this a 3.5. This is an excellent rating for a Connecticut cigar. I, I actually, I would rate it a four. The uh, it's very rare you get a uh, citrus at all in a lot of cigars, but especially one that stays the whole time. Sweetness through all the way through. Highly re recommended, great morning cigar. For people who don't like a full body cigar, this is it. And I'd like to thank Natasha from Granite Banner for sending this for review. And we'll catch you next time on Backport Cigar Reviews.